Hello viewers, welcome to SEMA's digital learning platform. We appreciate you so much for your continuous support towards our different products. Now in this period when schools are preparing PLE, they are looking forward to sit PLE. We all know that teachers play a very big role for these learners to excel. They always work very hard for candidates to pass. And in order to smooth their activity, SEMAS brings to you senior facilitators from different subjects to share knowledge with you teachers, to give you some skills on how best you can prepare your learners to excel in PLE. Standing with me is Mr. Kanga Vemod, a senior teacher, author, facilitator, and a consultant of social studies and RIE. Mr. Kanga Ve, you're welcome to SEMAS. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, greetings to you all. Uh, in the first place, we are in the final lap yes. of our primary say, cycle. Yes. Therefore, passing a summative exam is not an event, but okay. a well-planned, a well-monitored, a well-implemented, and a well-assessed activity. So here we say that inputs plus the processes, uh, we get what we call the outputs. Okay. Whoever wants the best outputs, you must put in the best inputs. And your processes must be the best. But this is done by different categories of people, different stakeholders. Okay. The pupils, the parents, the teachers, the school proprietors, okay. the school administrators, and even the well-wishers. So all of these play a very big role towards this. Actually, for me, I thought it is only teachers that work very hard for, for learners to excel. Now, what could be the role of different stakeholders towards PLE excellence? Okay, thank you very much. Different stakeholders play different roles, mm -hmm. especially when you look at parents. They have to pay school fees. They have to prepare candidates as they go to school. Mm -hmm. They have to do whatever it takes for these candidates to excel. Okay. When you come to the school proprietors and the school administrators, one, they are responsible for sourcing different assessment materials the exams, the textbooks, the teachers treat these learners. So they play a big role. But most importantly, we have two categories of people. One, the learners, and two, the teachers. But for now, we are going to focus on the teachers. The effectiveness of every teacher is reflected through the results of the learners. Therefore, dear teacher, it's your cardinal role to equip this learner with the vocabulary, with the competences, with the content, with the reasoning, and even the application of the knowledge these learners have acquired in their daily life experience. It means that as a teacher, you play a pivotal role towards the performance of this learner. This is done in different ways. But right now, we are running our final lap. We are doing our final stage towards PLE. One, term three is not a term for teaching, dear teachers, especially to the candidates. Term three is a term for consolidation of what learners learn. Is a term for perfection of what these learners learned. Is a term for mastery. But how do we do this, teachers? What is our role of, uh, in this? One, each teacher must have a copy of the curriculum. That is, the curriculum book from P1 to primary 7. For example, P7, we have 10 topics of SST. From location to major world organization, the teacher must be in the know. P6 has five topics. From East African community to responsible living in the East African environment. P5 has 12 topics. P4 has six topics. P3 has 12 themes, but out of the 12 themes, the themes for SST learning are seven. P2 has seven themes of the SST learning out of the 12. P1 has seven themes of the SST learning out of the seven. The teacher who is preparing this candidate, one, you must be in the know of all of this content. That's SST. Two, we have RE. For one, to excel in SST, dear teacher, you must have talked about RE. Both 
Christianity, that is CRE, and then Islam, IRE. Like I've talked about the curriculum of the primary SST bit, even RE has the curriculum. For example, P7 has 10 topics of CRE and 15 topics of IRE. Do your learners know them? Actually, do you teacher? Do you know these topics? So it means that the curriculum must be in your know from P1 to P7, both SST and RE. Secondly, you need to understand your learners. We are going to do a series of these things. How best do you guide your learner? Most of us focus on the name of the category of the learners that are at the verge of failure. We forget the learners that are at the tip. We fear so much failure than the way we love the distinctions. And it should be the opposite. We must love the distinctions more than the way we fear the failures. So I urge you, teacher, please, how best do you do the marking? How best do you do the teaching? What are the sources of your assessment materials? Anyway, what do you assess your learner with? Okay? How do you mark? What are the common mistakes in our SST and RE? What is your experience of SST past PLOEs? Do you have that trend? Do you know about it? Please follow us for more so that we get to prepare our candidates together and we have a better candidate. Finally, I would like to tell you that, dear teacher, the only way to show your effort the only way to show the public that you are working is through the results. These results will speak for themselves. You don't need to go tell people, I'm a very good teacher, I'm this and that. No, you must have the results so that these results can speak for themselves. I wish you the best and please follow us and follow all the processes these candidates need to go through in order to excel. That was Mr. Kanga the mode, and we have more facilitators that are coming in. The only thing you have to do is to subscribe with us and enjoy our more coming episodes only here at SEMAS. And if at all you have any comment, please click on review and send us a message. It will be a pleasure to hear back from you. SEMAS, we simplify learning.